Kawhi Leonard has been playing like the best player in basketball this season. I personally think he should get some consideration and real consideration for MVP. He's averaging 24 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 steal, 1 block per game on crazy efficiency. 53% from the field, 56% on two-pointers, and 45% from three while attempting five attempts per game. It's simple. When Kawhi shoots a basketball right now, you think it's going in. And as of now, he's been healthy, playing in 45 out of 49 games with them. He's a threat from anywhere on the basketball court, 0 to 3 feet from the basket, 80%, which is a career high. 3 to 10, 52%. 10 to 16, 51%. Then, of course, from the three-point line, 45%. You can't take anything away from this guy. This is just a friendly reminder that if health was out of the picture and you didn't have to worry about it, who are you picking to lead your team to victory in a playoff run? It's Kawhi Leonard. It's always been. Last year, in two games versus the Suns, 34.5 points, 6 assists. Last time, he was fully healthy for a playoff series. Three years ago, versus Dallas, 32 points, 4 assists, and 7 rebounds, while shooting 60% from the field and 42% from 3. His playoff numbers were are ridiculous and i believe the clippers have the firepower this regular season to keep him refreshed and injury free as possible in the past regular seasons it was a battle for them right now they are coasting sitting pretty only 0.5 games back from the one seed i would like to play a game i call it did he make this shot first picture fading on the move hand in the face the answer is yes he made it. Next up, Aaron Gordon, 7 foot wingspan with a heavy contest. Kawhi on the side of the basket in the mid range region, one of the toughest shots. It doesn't matter though, he sinks it. All the way from three with John Collins in his airspace while touching his elbow. No problemo, he's got it. Double teamed, amazing contest from Derek Lively. Who has a seven foot one wingspan while fading away somehow some way he sinks it with ease he's the best shot maker in the nba in my humble opinion he's also arguably the best iso player in the league because elite defense doesn't matter most times you just gotta hope and pray he's off his game ball fake get away pump fake you bite two dribbles then he takes two steps like he's going up for a layup one legged dirk like fadeaway jumper perfect contest can't get any better than that but you can't get any better than Kawhi's form in the mid-range region eat it the balance footwork strength and jump shot form just makes him unguardable once again you just gotta hope he's off he has a luka type pace too he's playing at his own speed he's not rushing or anything like that put a seven footer on me i do not care look how he just eases to his spot and notice he's engaged locked onto allen when he goes up meaning when he fades it naturally creates enough space for him to get it off while allen can't recover in time most players in the league don't have the height of Allen, along with the foot speed, which means Kawhi most likely always has an advantage over the opposing defender, whether it's speed, strength, or size, where he can just shoot it over someone. Let's go to him against Jared Vanderbilt, one of the best defenders in the league with size, length, and speed. Kawhi says, okay, Two speed dribbles, stop on a dime, look at the balance. That's a secret to his sauce. While Vandy is not on balance. Little over the head sweep through thingy thing thing. He sees Vandy in the air, so he fades enough accordingly. Perfect, perfect contest, but that's all he needs. Cash money wet wet. He's 6'7", 225 pounds with freakishly long arms. Built like the Hulk with michael jordan-esque footwork and shot form if all that wasn't enough look at this 
between between the legs fake step back hesitation type thingy dance move burst of speed crossover he ain't done yet pump fake defender bites into the step through floater the footwork is pure and precise and it's nothing but net like are you kidding me it's simple, you better double team him, but at this point, he has seen every type of coverage, so he's ready for it and consistently will make the right reads. Plus, the Clippers are ready for that and they flourish in those types of situations. They are ranked number one in the NBA in three-point percentage, 39.5% as a team. Oh, and by the way, he's one of the most gifted defenders in the league still to this day who can lock up anyone in crucial crunch time possessions. Healthy Kawhi, the Clippers, at the very least, will find themselves in the Western Conference Finals. I truly believe if he had a relatively healthier career, he would have more rings and would be in the GOAT conversation. That's how good he is when he's healthy. That's all I got, though. If you enjoyed at any point, leave a like and subscribe. If you got time, check out my other videos. And most importantly, have yourself a great day and peace out.